Um, okay, so you guys, you're obviously really in touch with your fans, and you can tell that from like, oh yeah, like that. I just touched my fans. See? We're in touch. <laughs> um, but anyway, you can tell that by like the like the reviews and stuff that I've read that people are fans rule. Yeah, totally. they are so totally. like loyal, diehard mm -hmm. BLS is awesome. Um, so whenever you guys are recording a new album, does any of that go into the thought process of actually like writing and recording? Are you recording for the fans, or is this still? It's something pretty that's much like just just, just what we're what we're, what's coming out, you know what I mean? And it just happens to be that the fans love it. And it just I mean? is always it's, something. It's that the we're real delivering. thing, you know. It's the real deal. It comes out. Zach writes some riffs, and then we build a song, and then there there it is, and that's it. And it took us ninety four days to write, record, mix, and master this record. Really? 94 days. That's amazing. I, but we didn't take a day off. Oh. I, actually, I shouldn't say that. I took 10 days off. I flew home in between just because I had to recharge my batteries for right. like, you know, and do my taxes and all this other shit that I had to do. <laughs> so, but 94 days, which is insane. People take like a year to do that. Yeah, that is. Well, you know what's crazy it's though? Because we were doing, we everything. were doing like <clears throat> 16 hour days every day. So that's like two days. So right. it was really like six months crammed into three months. Yeah, I was about to ask how long, That's how long your the hours time. were. Yeah, 16 hours a day. Every day, no weekends. Fun. Yeah. Well, you know what? You were at we, home, though. We was, banged it out. Well, I, yeah, I was still in a hotel, and then, yeah. and then for the last month, I did stay at the bunker. So I was, like, at the studio 24-7 for the last month. Fun. But it was killer, man. I mean, it came out tremendous, man. So, like, sonically, I think it's, you know, our best record, so... Yeah, Very I love it. That. Like Thanks, I said, man. I listen to it at work all the time. Oh, well, I'm, I'm excited. I make other people listen to it. Very good. So. And then, like, <laughs> this is the second record I got to produce and mix, because I did my own record, my Cycle of Pain record. I got mm -hmm. to do that one. So I learned a lot doing that. You know, and then when, when we did this record, I had even more knowledge than I had already had about the studio and all that. So it was it was killer. It came out so you're able to take that experience without a doubt. And I learned so much. You, that's what you do, you know, in life. You learn from yeah. shit. You know what I mean? And, and whatever you're doing, or if you're involved in something, you should like you know pay attention because that other skill is going to come in handy someday. You know, no matter what it is. Definitely. Do you think that maybe the album wouldn't have been as good? I mean, in your eyes, at least, if you hadn't had that other experience. Oh, definitely. I don't, no, I don't think so. No? Because all the tricks that I've learned throughout the years, and then when I did my record, I learned, you know, the final stages kind of thing of it, you know. And uh, if I didn't do go through my record, then I wouldn't have had all this, these tricks that I had just learned, you know, last year. You know what I mean? And, you know, like I said, the new stuff. You right. know? So it, it definitely would have came out different. I, you still use your ear, so you make it sound as great as you can, no matter what. But, but it would have been different, different process, you know. Probably would have took me a lot longer. Taken longer, yeah. yeah <laughs> That's what I'm a lot longer. That's why, you know, we were able to do it in that like the time too, because dialed in the sounds pretty, pretty easily yeah. you know, as we were going. And uh, that's it. At the end, you know, and then the mixing part was like two weeks, and then that was it, man. And wow. It came out pretty, pretty slow. Right on. So I guess that means the next one's going to be even bigger and better. Oh, so definitely. It's getting experience. better and better. And we just recorded more stuff that we're going to be uh, we're doing in the future. I guess we're putting some stuff out. But uh, And I just went back to L.A. before we started the run and recorded some stuff, songs, and it came out even better. Right on. So now, and then after the tour, I'm home for a week, and then i got to fly back to L.A. As I live in Jersey. Damn. So i got to fly back to L.A. a week later after this tour and, and record more and mix more out there. And then come home for Christmas. Wow. And then back That's out okay. in February. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, it's, All right, it's well, awesome. don't let us down because mm. we're expecting gold. Well, now the pressure's on. Well, I'm expecting gold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to perform like and this. You better deliver. I don't know if I can perform. Well, I mean, coaxing. Uh, you're going to have to figure it out. All so, right. anyway. I'll, 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 think, I'll think I'll get it. <laughs> uh, on that note, uh, you said that you guys, or that y'all recorded some other stuff, um, mm -hmm. and you have a few more dates obviously left on this tour. Yes. Uh, besides that, what is what's next for you guys? What do you have mm, coming up? Well, we, we're finishing out, like I said, the year of this touring and uh, recording some more stuff. And then come February, we're going to be going over to Europe and then Australia and then Japan and China and all over there. And I think then we come home for a couple weeks, hopefully, or maybe a month. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can do some, some dates with my band because that's what I do when I'm home with Cycle of Pain. Right. And then, uh, you know, and then I think we're going back to Europe for festivals and then to America again. And then it'll be the end of the year. Wow. So, and I'm trying to get Cycle of Pain to go over in February with Black Label. Oh, it's Europe? Because I signed a licensing deal in Europe, so they're putting my record out this in January. Right on, congratulations. So, thanks, yeah, so if we can do that and I do double duty in Europe, that'd be that'd be dope as hell. That would be really cool. That would be cool. Well, good Very luck. Cool. I hope that happens. Thanks, yeah, me too. So, not wood. It's yeah. in the woods. <laughs> Is this yeah. for wood? I don't know. Yeah. 
Is that that might jinx it if it's not actual wood. That's wood. There you go. I'm not good with that. I should never do that again. Anyway. I thought it was actually pretty good for a novice. <laughs> Thanks. Not Thanks. Bad. I do it again. Table drumming. It is what it is. <laughs> so how many dates are left on this tour? Don't ever do that again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Boom, yep. boom, boom. So yeah. you're like halfway through this? More one? than half. Oh, yeah. I oh, left yeah, September yeah. 9th. Wow. What is today? October is it, 30th? This is mischief night. Wow. It's mischief night. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to toilet Are paper you, to stage. Do you have a do you have a costume or anything lined up? I wear it. I'm wearing it. You're I'm a, like a Shyland monk from uh from uh Jersey. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I like that. I we dress I'm, up every day. I think I'm gonna dress up like Andrew WK. Are you? Yeah. The white. The white I have guys. it. I have yeah. it all in my car. I even have fake blood and everything. Really? I'm ready to rock out. All right. Party hard. I want to see it in the front row tonight. Really? Yeah. Jump off the bar. <laughs> Actually, you know what? There's no pit area in this place. There's not. No, because there's like this much room between the stage and like, or maybe there's like, ten feet of standing, and then it's all seats. That yeah, sucks. I've been here before, but only in the nosebleed no section. Opinion. I'm not even gonna lie. I hate this venue. This really? venue sucks. And I, I want. It's thought the it was shittiest cool. one in it Dallas. Looks awesome. it looks no, beautiful. as far as like in Dallas, it's shitty. is City Limits still here? Huh? Is City Limits still here? I don't think so. Nah. If it is, it probably has a different name. Yeah. Because I've never even. I don't nah, even know what that you is. probably weren't even born <laughs> when I played there. All right, now just feel stupid. <laughs> Anyways, we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Yeah. Cause cool. We only got interrupted people. once. That wasn't bad. Oh. I asked my truck driver when he opened the door. I was like, no, no. No, don't come up here. Me. I didn't even see. So Say good. That. He's not even an no. interrupter a no, lot. So you might have to edit. edit yeah. Axe out. I don't want Axe anywhere on this. <laughs> All right. We'll make sure that. Axe is never going to see we'll this. We'll make sure that Axe, the bus driver, gets zero for Axe. credit. And, and you know what? Anything. Nothing. Don't include Axe in anything. I won't. Okay, love you, Axe. You suck. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't I, even know I, you. Don't no. come beat me up later. No, he's the greatest. We love him. <laughs> Aww, even though he's so sweet. I still love him. So he's sweet. our truck driver. He's the greatest. Part of the team. Well, maybe I'll uh, swing some fake blood your way or something. Well, right. Yeah, because I love Gene Simmons, so I'll, I'll take, take it from the You can kind of dress up, you know. Give. I should have dressed up as Gene tomorrow. That would have been cool. Yeah. You can still do it. Yeah, kind of tough. Oh, well, we'll we get around up, all the all the Covered up in fur. Maybe I was a werewolf. <laughs> you can do that too. I'm pretty close. Yeah, you could be. I'm a almost lot of things. there. I'm almost there. <laughs> I don't think this is ever gonna. I keep trying to wrap this up because I oh, feel okay. like we're like, t I don't know, going off into nothing. Yeah. But I just don't even know what to do at this point. I'm lost. On that note, right. Black Label Society on the Black Label Berserkus tour. Uh, check them out. Come and on out. If you haven't picked up the new album yet, you need to do that because what the hell is wrong with you? Pick it up, Zaga. Get behind. You're behind. Get ahead. Pick it up. Get ahead smash of life. it. Break it. Maybe whatever you want to do with it. Don't do that, though. Just listen to it. It's good. All right. We're out. <laughs>